Welcome to Nursing Prep Push Yourself in Nursing Preparation with Smart Way. The topic is Psychosocial Integrity. A patient diagnosed with General Anxiety Disorder, GAD, reports ongoing nausea and abdominal bloating. A physical examination fails to confirm a medical illness to explain these symptoms. The healthcare provider suspects these findings are a result of which of the following? Option A. Dissociation. Option B. Somatization. Option C. Dysthymia. Option D. Derealization. Right answer is. Option B. Somatization. Somatization, or somatic symptom disorder, SSD, is a form of mental illness that causes physical symptoms, including pain. Somatization is a means of coping with psychosocial distress by developing physical symptoms, soma equals body. The physical symptoms the patient is experiencing are caused by anxiety. The symptoms may or may not be explained by a known medical condition, but cause unusual levels of distress for the patient. Emergency medical personnel bring an unconscious patient to the emergency department. The patient's pupils are pinpoint and respirations are depressed. Intoxication of which of the following substances could contribute to these clinical signs? Option A. Ecstasy. Option B. Cocaine. Option C. Methadone. Option D. Methamphetamine. Right answer is. Option C. Methadone. Actions of opioids include constriction of pupils, secondary to parasympathetic stimulation, and depression of respirations, secondary to decreased respiratory center responsiveness to carbon dioxide. The other drugs are stimulants, which cause pupil dilation, excitability, increased heart rate and blood pressure. A patient diagnosed with depression is prescribed fluoxetine, Prozac. Which of the following would the healthcare provider most likely observe if the patient experiences an adverse effect of this medication? Option A. Decreased libido. Option B. Bradycardia. Option C. Weight loss. Option D. Urinary retention. Right answer is. Option A. Decreased libido. Fluoxetine increases the synaptic concentration of serotonin in the central nervous system, but may have effects on other nervous system functions. Although the mechanism has not been completely elucidated, sexual dysfunction is one of the most common adverse effects of SSRIs in both men and women. Other side effects include insomnia, cold symptoms, stuffy nose, sneezing, sore throat, and GI symptoms, dry mouth. Nausea, upset stomach, constipation. When a patient presents to the emergency department with a toxic acetaminophen, Tylenol, level, drug should the nurse expect to administer? Option A. Acetylcysteine, mucamist. Option B. Defoxamine mesylate, desfil. Option C. Succimer, chemit. Option D. Flumazenil, rumezicin. Right answer is. Option A. Acetylcysteine, mucamist. Acetylcysteine, mucamist, is given to convert toxic metabolites to non-toxic. Deferoxamine mesylate is the antidote for iron intoxication. Flumazenil, rumezicin, is the antidote for the sedative effect of benzodiazepines. Succimer, gamut, is the antidote for lead poisoning. A patient is admitted to an inpatient psychiatric unit because of a plan to commit suicide by taking an overdose of medication. When administering medications to this patient, which of these interventions is the priority? Option A. Monitor the patient's vital signs before administration of mediations. Option B. Ensure that the patient is not cheeking the medications. Option C. Teach the patient how to recognize adverse effects of the medications. Option D. Monitor the patient for signs of anorexia, nausea, and xerostomia. Right answer is. Option B. 
ensure that the patient is not cheeking the medications. A patient who has suicidal ideation, especially by overdosing on medications, should be monitored for cheeking. Cheeking occurs when a patient hides the medication in the mouth and hoards it so it can be used for another suicide attempt. A patient is admitted to the medical unit after experiencing chest pain. Which of these additional findings would support a diagnosis of cocaine abuse? Option A. Jaundice. Option B. Profuse diarrhea. Option C. Hypotension. Option D. Perforated nasal septum. Right answer is. Option D. Perforated nasal septum. Cocaine is a central nervous system stimulant, increasing heart rate and blood pressure. Because of vasoconstriction, long-term intranasal use of cocaine is associated with a perforated nasal septum, as well as loss of smell. Reduced blood flow can also lead to gangrenous bowels and chronic diarrhea. Jaundice is related to impaired liver function. If present, it is usually due to viral hepatitis or concurrent alcohol use. A patient is abusive to others, insensitive to their feelings, and shows no remorse. The most likely personality disorder is Option A. Histrionic Option B. Antisocial Option C. Paranoid Option D. Narcissistic Right answer is Option B. Antisocial when a patient has an antisocial personality disorder, there is a lack of regard for rules, safety, and others. The patient will lie and act impulsively. A narcissistic personality disorder is demonstrated by airs of grandiosity and a constant need for admiration from others. A patient with a paranoid disorder show distrust and interprets others' actions as threatening. A histrionic disorder includes excessive displays of emotions and attention-seeking behavior. A 28-year-old male is admitted with a diagnosis of paranoid schizophrenia. His care provider prescribes flufenazine 10 mg TID. After 9 days, the client remains unkempt and refuses to get out of bed. The nurse knows that flufenazine. Option A. Needs to be constantly adjusted for maximum benefit. Option B. Is most effective with the positive symptoms of schizophrenia. Option C. Leads to agitation when given in large doses. Option D. Requires 2 to 3 weeks to attain a therapeutic drug level. Right answer is. Option B. Is most effective with the positive symptoms of schizophrenia. Flufenazine is a phenothiazine used to treat schizophrenia. It is most effective with positive symptoms, such as hallucinations, delusions, and racing thoughts. This client is displaying some negative symptoms. Other negative symptoms include apathy, lack of emotion, and non-existent social functioning. The drug takes effect in 3 to 7 days when administered for positive symptoms. Increasing the dosage or continuing the drug for negative symptoms is not effective. Depression is a common side effect. Which occupation is at least risk for developing sensory alterations? Option A. Welder. Option B. Carpenter. Option C. Disc jockey. Option D. Waitress. Right answer is. Option D. Waitress. A waitress is the least likely to develop a sensory alteration, although there is a risk for musculoskeletal injury. Well does risk visual alterations. A disc jockey can develop hearing deficits. A carpenter can develop repetitive strain injuries and peripheral neuropathy. A child who is newly diagnosed with attention deficit disorder, ADHD, will likely display which of the following? Option A. Ability to focus on subjects of interest. Option B. Constant movement and squirming. Option C. Attempting to run away. Option D. Complaints of fatigue and somatic conditions. Right answer is. Option B. Constant movement and squirming.
constant movement and squirming are indications of ADHD. Other signs include inability to pay attention to directions or details, talking all the time, even when inappropriate, and being easily distracted. Somatic complaints and running away are indicative of emotional distress. Thanks for watching. If you like our video then do like, comment, share. Subscribe our channel for 